Greetings everyone and welcome to another video. A viewer suggested that I do a video about the Tribble test server and that sounded like a good idea so here we are. What is it? How does it work? What are the benefits to using it? What are the limitations? And is it worth the hard drive space? Let's start with the basics. There are two different servers for Star Trek Online, Holodeck and Tribble. Holodeck is the normal server everyone plays the game on and Tribble is the test server. You can think of it like a permanent open beta though that last statement is misleading for a few reasons. I'm going to tell you how to install it later in the video, but for now, let's look at what it is first. Tribble has its own patches, which are different from the ones Holodeck gets, but it's not a simple case of Tribble getting updates first. There are fundamental differences between the two that have nothing to do with the current version of the game, and we'll get to those in a moment. However, even if we focus on just the content patches, it's often the case that Tribble gets things after Holodeck. That's because Tribble doesn't exist to find bugs before content is released, even if that's how it started. It functions that way sometimes, but it's better to think of it as a cheat mode server where testing can be done without wasting time on incidental time sinks that aren't related to the thing you want to observe. The current state of Tribble at any given time really depends on what the developers need it for. As an example, they recently did stress testing by spawning an ungodly amount of enemies on ESD, both space and ground. There's a console on Drozana that will allow you to obtain a lot of reputation items for free because they wanted people to test them without waiting for the grind to unlock everything. The C store is completely disabled. This is probably so people don't accidentally buy things on the wrong server, and because they never bothered to connect it to the payment processors, I assume, but I'd like to think it's because the cash shop is the one thing that never has bugs. Needless to say, this is not a place you want to actually play the game. Things can be unstable, unpredictable, buggy, broken, and lack any guarantee of permanence in the same way that Holodeck does. If the benefits I am about to extol start to sound enticing, Keep that in mind before you decide to abandon Holodeck and start playing on Tribble, because it's not meant for that and you will regret it. In addition, you have to download the entire game a second time, as the Tribble version is its own thing, essentially doubling the amount of hard drive space you need to play the game. You also have to patch both of them separately. So why go through all that? What's the big deal? What's the benefit? It all has to do with the way you get your characters onto the server. There's a page you can use on the ARC website, which I'll have linked below, just make sure you log in first, that lets you copy a character from Holodeck to Tribble. This is a snapshot of your character when you did the copy. Everything will be the same, their EC, their dilithium, what ship they have active, all that stuff. There are a few things that don't carry over, like endeavors and some settings, which are stored server-side, but your character will appear on Tribble as a virtual exact duplicate. Because you can't reclaim things on the C-Store on Tribble, make sure any C-Store stuff you want to access is available on that character without claiming it first. So if you have a ship, make sure it's in dry dock or something like that. Here's the kicker though. You can do this more than once. You can copy the same character over to Tribble multiple times. The new ones just have numbers appended to their name to distinguish them. This means you can effectively duplicate items, including lockbox keys. Don't bother with Phoenix boxes though, as they always give an epic token on Tribble. It also means that if you win a ship on Holodeck, or your friend does, you can copy over multiple times and spread it around to other people on Tribble. Anything you have at least one copy of on Holodeck can be duplicated as many times as you want. As an example, I have a single promo choice box I won over two years ago that I never opened so I can copy it over to Tribble whenever I want to review a promo ship. This allows me to get my hands on new lockbox and promo ships without having to pay for them. I can simply copy over the new lockbox and use duplicated keys to win the ship, or get someone else who copied the ship onto Tribble to send me a duplicated copy. I can then try the ship out, unlock the trait, get a feel for it, and record a review without actually having to buy it. I don't get the benefit of actually owning it and having the trait console and ship on holodeck for my actual gameplay, but it's good enough to test the ship out for review purposes. It's also a way to try out ships if you're thinking about buying it on holodeck, but want to take it for a test drive first. I had no plans to buy the Dale Kalina, but after reviewing it, I wanted one and bought it on holodeck. 
Conversely, I thought I wanted a Sheshar, but after playing with it on Tribble, I decided against it. It may have dawned on you by now, but this does not work for Sea Store ships. The only way to get your hands on those is to pony up the cold hard cash for the real McCoy. At first glance, it may seem like this is a way to get free premium ships, and in a way it is, but in a lot of other ways it definitely isn't. It's true that you can get premium ships over there without spending the resources you'd normally have to on holodeck, but it's also true that Tribble is not a place to actually play the game. Item duplication is a double-edged sword. It also makes the exchange pointless as everyone can have infinite money. The server itself has a lower priority for updates, and when it does get updates, they're normally less stable. There's no population of players over there running queues, and queues make up the majority of events, which make up the majority of the end game outside of the sandbox stuff made up by the players. So, if after all that you still want to give it a whirl, let's talk about getting it installed. It's not hard, you just have to select the Tribble Shard from the launcher. If you don't normally use this launcher, then you need to use it in order to download Tribble. I access the launcher through Arc, but you can launch it directly. Tribble is a great way to duplicate resources and test premium ships before you buy them, but it will cost you some hard drive space and it's not an alternative to Holodeck. Tribble is a tool, nothing more and nothing less. I find it very valuable as a content creator, you may find it valuable as well. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe so you can see more of my stuff in the future. As always, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one, bye.